You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? And welcome to another awesome episode of Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart to Radio. And I'm your host, Dini. We uh, It's time to go over to the phone lines. We have a special guest for you guys. So that means we're about to dive deep into another interview. But before we do that, I just want to say that most of us are in the habit of looking at the world through a narrow, limited perspective perspective of our own interests. You know, certainly it is important to look out for one's own interests, yet there's a big world out there with a lot of people in it. And you benefit immensely when you can expand your horizons and fortify your own perspective with the diverse per- uh man, can you say this word right tonight? perspectives of others look at the situations in which you find yourself not only from your point of view but also through the eyes of those with whom you interact for each person you come into contact with ask yourself this question what can i do to provide something of real uh value to this person and the answer to that question will open your eyes to a whole world of possibilities and opportunities which may have previously been hidden from view going past your own narrow interests is ultimately the best strategy for serving the most sincere of those interests every person with whom you come in contact represents an opportunity for you to provide real value and by doing so to add genuine value to your own life take that from me coach dini that is my word and word is bond Yo, hello and welcome to another incredible episode of Behind the Mind series where we dive into the universe of the people who create these marvelous aspirations. It feels so good to be back with you guys once again. Big ups to my folks who are indigos, crystalline, or the star seeds, and for my vigilantes audience family. And of course, my hooligans, and shout out to my people who are vegetarian, pescatarian, or vegans. We are averaging over 41,000 live listeners, and we've been at this for seven solid years. I appreciate all of you guys who have been rocking with the kid on this journey, and we are still evolving, baby. It is all because of you, most definitely. We are the people who have dedicated their lives to music, spirituality, business, literature, education, news, art, films, and research in every aspect, and we want to allow you and opportunity to tell your story man we've had celebrities on our show from grammy award winning artists nominees to actors comedians ceos technology revolutionaries educators visual artists from authors to professors and vampires or people think they're vampires it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from come on our show and chat with Dini. so check it out to book an interview or to appear on my other show skeptics email me at v radio at only one media group.com that's v as in victor or you can email me at chat with Dini at only one media group.com we hope to get the stories behind these unique people and give them a chance to tell their truth to us and the universe. That's Vigilante's radio purpose. You know the number to dial 701-801-9813. Share that number with your buddy right now and tell them to tune in to connect with us or our guests, or you can hop in the mix directly from my website. 
onlyonemediagroup.com right from the home page you can slap that go live button and you'll be right here live in the midst and in the chat room with all of us so feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests while they are here but only as time permits sometimes my guests and i talk entirely too much and as always all episodes are available for free download you can grab it from either spricker.com forward slash only one media group iHeart Radio, Spotify, iTunes, Castbox, Player FM, YouTube, or any app from the Google Play or iTunes Store are over at our website. I've conducted over 1,000 interviews and counting. All right, all right. Again, welcome to the show. You are listening to Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart Radio, and I'm your host, Dini. Our interviews are designed to go beyond the music, news, books, art, acting, films, technology, education, entrepreneurship, entertainment, and sometimes even that thing that we call the ego. Our interviews are designed to go behind the scenes and into the minds of these incredible human beings. You know, the ones are out there giving it their all for me, for you, and for the world. With that, let's welcome our guest to the show. He goes by the name of The One. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, man? Welcome to Vigilantes Radio Live. How are you? Hi, how are you? Oh my God, I thought I was so late because I thought I was supposed to call in at 9.45, <laughs> but I called in at 9.30, so I'm glad I was able to get through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right on time, man. Right on time. So, New York, right? Yes, 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 yes. I'm originally from Los Angeles, though, but I've been living in Brooklyn since um, J- June 2020, so I've been out okay. here for two years. Yes. All right, all right. So, what brings you to New York? Um, well, I'm chasing this dream of being a singer. It's my, it's been my, a lifelong passion for me. Um, I first came to New York in 2017 to sing at the Apollo. I got booked to be on the show. They had revamped the show with Steve Harvey and Adrian Balon. I don't know if that's, she's married now, so she changed her last name, but I know her as Adrian Balon from the Cheetah Girls 3LW. Right. Yeah. She was the host. Um, and that was back in 2017. That ended up not going so well. I ended up getting booed, um, blah, 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 blah. It's a part of my story now. So I moved back in June 2020 to, you know, try to trace this dream of maybe hopefully making my dream of getting a major label recording contract come true. So yeah. That's yeah. why I'm back. Yeah, I saw that uh, the uh, Apollo on your IG earlier today. I was going to ask yeah. you about that. So was that your first time ever on an international stage like that? Yes, that was. And wow. I was uh, I was by myself. I had no family. I have no manager. What? I'm out here doing it on my own. So my routine that I had in Los Angeles, I kind of abandoned it when I came out here. And I will take responsibility and say that um, booking that gig, I should have applied the work ethic that I had for my regular job. I was a special ed assistant at that time. I should have took that work ethic and applied it to Showtime at the Apollo. So I could take responsibility and say that I was, when you book the big gig is when you really put in the work. It's not time yeah. to relax yeah. and party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I responsibility but also I don't think those shows are the route that I need to take i.e. the voice American Idol I don't think those shows are necessarily bright for me but I'm very thankful for the opportunity because I have been auditioning 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 and was told no a bunch of times so to finally get that yes and be on a legendary stage like that getting to meet Steve Harvey um, getting to meet Adrian Balon who I respect as a vocalist i still listen to 3lw to this day um so it was a great experience and a great learning experience at the same time absolutely so one of the key things you mentioned man was work ethic and 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 look look i believe this this goes for a lot of artists even even i did it you know when i was an artist back in the gap but um i didn't apply that same work ethic ethic that you would apply to like someone else's business like a nine to five you know like you're working hard you're you're putting in the time the energy right 
But then when it came to my own dreams, I noticed I wasn't extending that same energy towards that. And that was mine. And, and for the life of me, I just never understood that uh, how that works. You know, how can we give ourselves to something that we that doesn't even belong to us versus something that we do, you know, birth and dream and think about, talk about constantly. We don't extend that same energy, man. Um, right. Have you come to that crossroads as well? Um, um, yes, like I said, um, like I just said, taking that same attitude, you know, hopefully I get another opportunity to really pursue my dream. Not a lot of people get second chances, but I feel like life is about growth and you, you know, certain things happen so you can learn lessons. Um, like I said, I'm not, uh, Yes, going forward, I'm going to be applying that energy to applying that work as a day that I would have for a regular nine-to-five job and applying it to singing. Like I said, I was from Los Angeles. I wasn't from New York. So the routine I had in Los Angeles, I wasn't able or I didn't think to transfer it out here, i.e. there is a certain drink that I drink every day that I needed a Nutribullet for. I didn't buy that. I, I have bought I don't want to get into too much of a detail, but just certain things that I was doing in L.A., I didn't do in New York when I was there for a short time at the Apollo. And um, and plus, I was I didn't travel much. I, I wasn't a really a big traveler like that, so I didn't know what I could and could not bring on the plane. So it was just a learning experience all the way around. Like I said, I don't have a manager. I wish I did, but... I, you know, maybe it's just not in the cards for me. You know, that's another thing I kind of struggle with, too. It seems like it's e- easy for everybody else to get support. With me, it's just like, it's just me. I'm paying for my own studio time. I'm paying for the songs. I'm writing the own my own music. Like, I'm just doing everything myself. So it's kind of hard. You know, it's kind of like, it's heartbreaking for me sometimes because it's like, it, it seems like it's so easy for everybody else to get support and it's so easy for people to post on social media and get these big followings and it's been a struggle for me it's been very difficult and I'm at the point where I'm burnt out I don't want to do any more covers I don't like social media I'm not passionate about social media I'm passionate about being in the studio singing and songwriting and performing on stage so I'm just at a point where it's like where do I go from here you know yeah, I know exactly where you're coming from because I, I walked that same path, and it sounds like you're just ready to uh, leave all the how can you say the technicalities of everything? Like you have to post, you have to do this, do that, and you don't really have time to focus on being creative. And it seems like you just want to transition into the artist where you're just all about creating music and living that life I'm not passionate about social media even when I was coming up I never was a person that was sharing myself and that was just never me and it's that's I've just come to the that's just not me I don't need validation from people I know what I can do like so I just I don't I don't know where to I don't know that's just not my passion I kind of was Growing up, I got attention in school. You know, you see the, my post on Instagram. I'm a person that stood out whether I wanted to or not. So it's like yeah, I don't, yeah. I just don't need to do all that on social media. I just, I, I just feel like I don't. So I, I kind of am mad that I'm got caught up in this because my story is kind of interesting because my dad worked for Interscope Records. Really? You know? Yeah. So wow. I, you know. He offered to do a demo for me, but I don't think he would have been able to handle the type of artist that I am. I'm not Chris Brown. I'm not a Trey Songs. I'm not, you know, that's not me. And I don't want to, I don't want people around me trying to force me into feeding toxic masculinity because that's just not who I am. Yeah. So, so I'm inspired more by, you know, people who are really singing and emotions and who are studying and uh, who do vocal exercises and you know they're just not getting up and this has been my passion I was in choir in school you know I know about breathing and you yeah. know you breathe 
your diet friends. So it's just this is just not like a money grab for me. This is like a career choice, but this is my passion at the same time. So it's like I'm kind of coming from it at a different angle. I'm not doing this to be famous and per se. Yes, I want to be known for what I do, but I, this is a career choice at the end of the day. But I want to do it on an official level. I don't want to be independent. Yeah. It's a lot going, it's a lot to be independent, and I don't think that's right for me. It may be right for other people, but if other people are able to get the homie hookup, that's, I'm not blessed in that way. So I'm just like, where do I go? What do I do? <sighs> the game yeah. has changed, but I'm it still has. trying to stay positive and think that there's a way for me somehow, some way. Facts, facts, man. So, uh, you you mentioned also that you're tired of doing uh, cover songs, and I and you have a single now that you're promoting called Vibe. What was the inspiration for this record? This is a song that I've been trying to record since 2017. Oh my! Um, this is a song. Uh, it's kind of inspired by a, a Mariah Carey song, "Never Forget You." It's a song about loss. It's a song about um, whether it's a death of a person, a loss of a relationship, a loss of a friendship, um, even going even going to present day of this pandemic, wishing I can go back to 2019 because I was doing so well, but it's just, I kind of been struggling. I'm not going to even lie. I've been out here for two years and things have not gone the way I thought they were going to go. Mm. Um, so... Yeah, I've kind of been struggling, but in a way, it was hard for me to record songs in Los Angeles. I would record music in Los Angeles and sometimes leave the studio and not have a product that I could post on oh, YouTube man. or out or whatever. So I will say since being out here, it's been a better process than recording. Um, but Vibe is a labor of love. It really shows who I am as an artist. I'm a singer. I'm a real singer. And I'm a different type of artist as a male because I have a I have a vocal range, and I'm a I'm an artist who's a male that is inspired by female artists. I love Mariah Carey, I love Tamar Braxton, I love Tony Braxton. Yeah, I was a huge great. Destiny's Child fan growing up. I love Brandy was the first person that really woke me up into being like I want to do this as a career I'm not really inspired by male artists I know who they are I know their music but they're more like social listening like I listen to them if I'm around other people but those are not people who inspire me a lot of people bring up those artists when they you know Maxwell and Kevin Campbell you know but those are not people who've inspired me um so yeah so Vibe is inspired by, you know, it's a nostalgic song. It kind of reminds me of those 90s ballads, but it's something that is current, that it's still cool, it's still, it's still trendy, but it's still something that I feel like could stand the test of time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, we are about to get into that record right now. I can't wait to play it. Again, it's called Vibe, and it's by The One. And then we'll come back and put the one in our traditional hot seat. That's where he gets to perform for us, whether that's singing, rapping, poetry, telling a joke, telling a story from his life, playing an instrument, or just inspiring the people with his words. But for right now, guys, here it is. It's called Vibe. Stay tuned.
Welcome back. All right, that was Vibe by The One. Wow, that was incredible, right? Man, did you hear those notes? I couldn't even dream about hitting those kind of notes. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and bring them back. Yo, 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 welcome back. You're back live with us and in our hot seats. What are you going to perform for us? Um, I'll do an acapella uh, vibe. <laughs> All right, cool. And baby, if you're out there, you, can you hear me? And baby, if you're out there, are you near me? Better than we need you to be strong day by day. Your memory helps me push on Just in my class So just like the way You slept away I wish we could go back in time We live the splendor of those nights A special connection we just find If only for a moment Wow, man! Do you give lessons? Um, I could teach you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I, I need some lessons, man. All right, that that was incredible, man. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, man, let all of our listeners know where they can connect with you online. Um, you can follow me on. IG at International Pop Star 0529. Once again, that's International Pop Star uh, 0529. Also, you could search me on YouTube, the one D A apostrophe O N E. Uh, that's again, the one D A apostrophe O N E. Thank you for having me. I'm so appreciative. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. And uh, we wish you the best. Uh, any? Oh, I forgot to ask you. Any live shows coming up this summer? Uh, not at the moment. Like I said, I'm still trying to find my way in this game. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So right now I'm just focusing on audio. Really, just trying to get my name out there. Um, and yeah, we're still trying to find my way. Yes, sir. All right, man. Well, again, man, like I said, we wish you the best. We'll be watching. Uh, you have an incredible voice, and uh, we definitely want to see you emerge in this thing that we call the music industry, man. We got you back. Thank you so much. You have a great evening. All right, you too. Take care. Bye-bye. Peace. Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio Live. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, Spotify, CastBox, iHeart Radio, iTunes, YouTube, the app Podcast Addict, or over at our website, 
which again is onlyonemediagroup.com and that goes for every single show that we've ever aired if you like to request some music or send something for me to play email it to v radio at onlyonemediagroup.com that is v as in victor and here's my disclaimer we are genre free we do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone and actually scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right that's the bottom line this is my show so deal with it <laughs> just kidding on behalf of myself denny i appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us spread the word because sharing is caring we stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show be sure to connect with me on facebook twitter instagram tumblr snapchat tiktok at all social media sites as well as spreaker youtube we always follow back okay well just remember to put yourself into everything that you do and never stop investing in yourself peace love grilled cheese and talk with you later Now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer the Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a seventh sign regime, Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate exclusive.